Nowadays take trips Back in the day set tripping Now I sign down water to be dipping Back in the day was dipping Now man's got a little miss Back in the day was missions Now the miss is telling me <laughs> Nowadays take trips Back in the day set tripping Now I sign down water to be dipping Back in the day was dipping Now man's got a little miss Back in the day was missions Now the miss is telling me Nowadays life different Drunk driving on a band overseas to the hood behaviors consistent Ooh, You know anywhere man flying roll with a piff that mode's insistent Damn. Couple grams shy of a Z5 days all gone might need an assistant Back then man went halves on a tens of a So while we're on the subject of snacks <laughs> We just got our first order in from Thrive Market And if you guys are not familiar with Thrive Market It is basically an online membership that has eco-friendly cleaning supplies Organic groceries non-toxic beauty supplies, wine, supplements. I mean, I could literally go on and on. So there's a couple of ways you can sign up for a membership. You can either pay month to month or annually. And the really cool thing about this is for every paid membership that signs up on the website, they also donate a free membership to someone that might be in need. So with that being said, I wanna show you guys what I got. I wanna show you these first because I'm most excited about these. These were actually a savings through Thrive Market. So that's really awesome because we love Poppy, but there are some, well, I basically got the flavors that we haven't tried yet. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm really just excited about this because there's some healthy snack options that I can have. You guys know being in the second trimester, all I wanna do is just pretty much live in the kitchen. I've never tried these before, but they're called um, gelatin or gelato pops and these look so freaking good um there's mango pineapple and lime flavor as soon as i'm done with this video i'm gonna eat one i love coconut flakes so i was really excited to find these that are non-gmo organic plant-based really excited about these i love to put these on top of my oatmeal in the morning which brings me to the next thing that i got which was the um these little super easy containers of oatmeal um, i got the mixed berry flavor apple cinnamon which is one of my favorites right now during pregnancy weirdest thing ever i never used to eat this flavor before and then i got blueberry walnut and vanilla pecan which sounds to die for for brandon i got he loves chocolate chip cookies so i got a couple of options for him to try these these are almond flour cookies with chocolate chips in them. These are just um, a crispier chocolate chip cookie that I figure would be good like dipping in milk or something like that. So that's all that I got for my order this month. Um, oh, you read my mind on this. <laughs> the poppy? Yeah, I've been wanting to try these. I know, I want to try that one too. Watermelon, let's see. Oh, let me try it too. Right. Look at us, they're like... Oh, is that better than the grape? This is fire. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Yo. See, I just love Poppy. And this these are so healthy? Good. Yeah. Those are so good. I don't know what it is about Poppy. I think it's because you know it's healthy and it just tastes good. It gives you that sizzle like a unhealthier soda. No fake stuff. Yeah. Prebiotic. And only five grams of sugar. Mm. We're trying to make like small subtle changes, especially with the amount of snacking that we do. You know, y'all watch our vlogs. Oh, There's a man. lot of snacking that goes on. If you guys want to check out Thrive Market, make sure you click the link in my description bar because you will get 30% off your first purchase as well as a free gift for up to $60 or go to thrivemarket.com slash destiny and Brandon and let me know how much you save. We've been watching um, videos on YouTube about like 24 hours with a newborn, day in the life with a newborn. And it's been some real good stuff and real good information that I've been getting. Like this one lady, what's her name? Um, Haley's Corner? Yeah, Haley's. Haley's Corner. She did, she's done like a couple of diaper hacks, which when you think about it, it's like, this is genius. And so she's been kind of giving her routine and stuff like that about how she does with a newborn and stuff like that. And it's so funny because I was watching and she had did this thing where she had did like some popsicles because her daughter's teething right now. And so 
I got so excited not realizing I'm like this. I'm like, dang, this is something we should do, you know, for our baby, like the, the, the popsicles and stuff. She was like, you realize like that's probably gonna be a year after we have the baby. And I was thinking like, oh yeah, you are right. And so it just shows how like excited I am because I'm already thinking about like teething and sensitive skin and all this other stuff going on. Basically when she's changing the diaper, she puts one under it, which I think I normally do that anyway. But anyway, she puts one under the dirty diaper. Wait, how do you normally do that when you ain't got no kids? Well, with my niece. Oh, okay. And my sister is what I grew up. Mm -hmm. But you put a clean diaper under the dirty diaper and then that way if anything leaks or like blow out or something then you already have like, you know, the protection there. Yeah, yeah. And then another hack she did was she had put like, instead of just bringing the changing part all the way or everywhere with her, she basically had like a leather, I don't know what you call it, like a little thing that you can roll up. Yeah, like a little cart. Like a I little. I get one of those. Yeah. Like a little cart. Yeah, yeah. So she's got some good stuff. Like, I mean, some amazing hacks that I didn't even, I'm like, okay, we gotta try this. Cause I'm already, I'm already getting in dad mode. Like I'm already getting in the mode. I'm about to start waking up every two hours just because that's what I gotta do with it. Not every two hours. No, nah, let me stop playing. I ain't doing that right now. Cause I'm already tired as it is, but. <laughs> But yeah, so it's it's just it's cool to really just see kind of like how people do it, and our obviously ours is gonna be adjusted. I mean, we're probably not gonna do it the same way, but it'll be like something similar, like how they sleep and the noise machines that come on and stuff like that. And so it's just been really good watching. I've been watching a lot of baby content on YouTube. Like this is probably the most I've ever watched baby stuff ever in history you know what i mean just because it's giving me some good um ideas and stuff and of course Dez over here she she doing her thing putting all this stuff well putting the registry and stuff together so <sighs> hey we 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 out here parenting right now with an unborn child you feel me i'm so annoyed because i did a target run earlier today because brandon is planning to make some salmon tonight when he gets home from the gym. And I ordered everything except for the cream spinach or the spinach. So I have to go back to the store because ugh, I really kind of want it tonight now that he's actually gonna make it. So that's a bummer. So I just got back from Kroger, y'all. I hate, there's nothing more that I hate than going to the store. <laughs> I don't know what it is, and but it was my fault, I think, because I, I can't remember oh, if I put it. Juice. Huh? We got lemon juice? We got fresh lemon. Oh. <laughs> fresh lemon, baby. Fresh, baby. Um, but anyway, I think they forgot my uh, spinach and they, y'all, they have been sold out of green beans. Like the French style cut, I like that cut. That's canned. I don't know what it is, but I just love French style green beans from the can. Um, but they haven't had it for like ever. And uh, but anyway, they left the spinach out, and we needed it for this recipe that Brandon's making right now. He's doing. I'm doing stuffed salmon, y'all. Yeah, spinach, cream cheese, stuffed salmon. And I think I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I don't even know. Man, you know what? You could just do rice. Ooh, yeah, baby. Rice with spinach. I mean, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Does that go? Rice with spinach. Go. Yeah, rice. No, it was salmon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I hate going to the grocery store. I don't know why it just bothers me. And maybe it's because it takes us like, it takes you like 15 minutes to get there, 20 minutes to get back, and then whatever time you spend in the grocery store. So it's just like all that time is just wasted. So it's like 45 minutes just gone. Plus I'm lazy. And, uh, no, yeah, you're not lazy. Like, no, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, it's just times have been made easier for you to just have it picked up. Now you don't got to go in there. It's nothing about being lazy. It just true. is what it is. That's true. I think you that's know? what it is. It's the I'm used to the convenience. Yeah. So it's like, like ever since they did the whole like grocery pickup or grocery delivery, I'm just hooked on it. Like I do not want to go in the store. I really avoid it if I have to. Yeah, for sure. Y'all, so comment down below if y'all are 
I'm probably gonna need more spinach. Comment down below if y'all are one of those who, when you cook, you follow the ingredients. Like, Destiny's good at this. She can just kind of eye her stuff. But when I cook, I follow the directions to the T. Like, if it says two tablespoons, that's all I'm doing is two tablespoons. And he's so annoying with it. Like, if I try to put my input on it, he's like, put the recipe, you do it. I'm like, dude, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's gonna cook down a lot. You got a lot. Yeah. Nah, see, that I, I, I know. I need to start. I just, I don't know. I just, I just follow that's to the T. Um, no, yeah, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Some people are just like that. That's yeah. how I was until I just kind of got comfortable, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, um... <clears throat> I'm excited about this recipe because I seen it on IG and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta make this. You know, it's, it's so much stuff you see on IG, you be like, man, I gotta make this, and you be nervous, you like, I don't know if this is gonna turn out how it looks on IG. But I will say, you're good at actually doing it. Because I'll really? see stuff for months and years and never make it, <laughs> ever. You think I'm good, baby? No, you are. <laughs> he, really, he really is, like everything he sends or he's like, I'm gonna make it, he literally makes it within like three days. I'm yeah. like, wow. Yeah. I wish I had that discipline, but I don't. I'm just like, oh, I'll make this and never look at it again. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Oh, so is it movie night tonight or wrestling? Or um, we're gonna do a movie night. We're gonna do oh, a movie okay. night and we're gonna, um, yeah, we just, we gonna, we gonna get a nice little dinner. So the movie I was talking about that I wanted to see is the one, it's a scary movie we were trying to see, in the, but I remember it was in theaters and I don't wanna go to the movies tonight, unless you want to. No, absolutely not. But what's the name of the movie? Um, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Um, it's, it's called, scary. yeah, it's called Imaginary. Oh, Imaginary. Yeah. Um, okay, is it possible for us to get it on the TV, you think? No. I would not. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. I got it. I got it, Dennis. See, oh. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis has a tendency to want to come help me. And every time I'm in her kitchen, she got to come in here and help. Oh, you sit. As soon as I, as soon as she hear me getting a pot in the pan, here she comes strolling out the bedroom into the kitchen. I know. I'm so bad. I'm just like, oh, my space. Yeah. This is, yeah, but. Oh, real quick. I was going to say, though. Uh, where are you putting it? In the pot? No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm adding all this later on. Oh, okay. I got to make my mixture. Got you. Y'all, this looks so good. Look at Brandon as a little chef now. Mmm. Look at that sauce. Yeah, when you put my little cream sauce on it, it uh, gives it a little bit of razzle-dazzle, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, a little bit of a uh, mm -hmm. ooey, a little mm -hmm. bit of that oochi wally wally thing. <laughs> it looks so good. Y'all, it's so fire. OMG. Mm. Man, mm. bro. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> yeah, bro. You killed it. I'm proud. Jada, we're going to make this for you when you come up here. Mm -hmm. Please don't. Oh, you don't eat this? Say hi, Jada. Say I hi to the vlog. Like you got me in my body. So? Say hi to the vlog. Everybody know you're part of the body gang. <laughs> <laughs> it was fire, baby. Killed it. I'm getting ready for the day, and um, I am just literally. I told Brandon like 10 minutes ago, I was like, you know what? I think Pom Pom just gave me like 20% of my energy back, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I've just been kind of feeling like my energy level is going back down, um, which is fine. I mean, I'm okay with it, but it's just like, oh my gosh, I have to really fight to get up and do things these days. Um, oh, let me show you guys what my makeup is because I feel like I don't really talk about it that much, but I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation color 360 for literally I don't know, like eight plus years. This is my go-to, my ride or die. It's like eight bucks, or maybe because of inflation it's more, but I think it's like eight to 12 bucks at CVS or Walgreens or Target. But this is my baby. It's the matte and poreless kind, and yeah, my favorite. As you can see, it just gives me like 
a clean surface i literally use like a small dot on my hand and just dab it with my beauty blender and uh, it's like the perfect perfect shade for me literally it's so perfect and it looks flawless and then for this concealer i use the thread beauty this is color tan deep which is a little bright but i blend it in and make it work and for contour i use the thread beauty complexion stick in color 190. all of this stuff can be found at target you know just put it everywhere that i want to slim and chisel I saw somebody do this another way. Well, I'll try another way another day. It's so hard sometimes. Like, you'll see routines and you're like, oh, I should try that. But I'm the type of person where I really just kind of like to go with what I know and stick to what really works for me. Because sometimes, you know, um, the way people apply makeup on their face works for their face shape and their complexion and everything. But... I just like to just really keep it simple and go with what I know and go with what's best for me. Sometimes I'll try some things every now and then, but for the most part, I just like to keep it simple because then I'll be walking around looking like a clown and I don't have time for that, wasting some time and makeup. So I just do what works for me. And I just build up with the product. Like if I was going out somewhere today, like out, out, I would just put like more, if that makes sense. Right now I just have one, you know, just enough to be cute and film. Um, we might go see a movie later. So, you know, just to get out the house, but not really, not really doing anything. Like if I were going to an event or something. So yeah, I'm gonna blend that out. And then, y'all, I got these brushes from Amazon. So I'll link those below too because I really like these and they're really inexpensive. I'm one of those girls, as you can tell by the products that I use, I just don't like to spend a ton on makeup or makeup products or anything. And God is so good and I'm so grateful that I do get to test a lot of things like high-end products because they're gifted to me, which is a blessing and I love that. But I don't know, for some reason, like, I just cringe when it's time to really buy it for myself. Because <laughs> I'm just like, man, my ride or die products are just so inexpensive and it works. You know what I mean? But, um, so, yeah. Anywho. But, yeah, like I was saying, I just feel like my energy is just, like, it's been off for some reason and I don't know why. Well... Obviously, it probably has something to do with the baby getting bigger and needing more from me. It's just, um, it's just crazy how you wake up one day, everything's fine, and then the next day, it's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> you truly just don't know how you're going to wake up when you're pregnant. You just got to pray for the best. But, um... Oh my gosh, and I know you guys are so anxious about the gender reveal, and I'm so sorry, but we are still waiting on edits from the photographer. So we thought that he would have them back um, sooner, which is fine. That he, I, I want him to take his time away. I love that. But um, we probably just spoke too soon, saying that it would be in this vlog. So our apologies, that was totally our fault. Prayerfully, it will be within the next, hopefully, like the next vlog, I don't know. But we'll see. I won't put that out there because I don't wanna get you guys excited and it doesn't happen. Or ourselves excited because we are, we're ready to tell you guys too. I know that sounds crazy, but like we want you guys to know so bad and it's gonna help with editing a lot because y'all i have to edit out at least five to six times where brandon says the gender he is not holding it in well he wants y'all to know more than anybody in this world <laughs> i literally have to be like babe you said it again <clears throat> so um i just cannot wait for you guys to know it's so exciting because i also can't wait to show you 
what I bought for the baby so far. I've got like a couple things, not a lot, because I really just start. We really just started like doing things, but we are getting. Um, I don't remember if I told y'all yesterday, but I had a meeting with the nursery designer that we're gonna be using because y'all I just don't have the energy to do it myself I really don't I really 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 don't and Pottery Barn our Pottery Barn offers a free service where they come and they measure your house or you can send in your measurements and they'll pretty much design the nursery for you all you have to do is purchase the products of course so thank God for that because I just don't like there's just no way I have the energy to do it right now like I cannot even like for some reason all I can think about is like what my next meal is gonna be and when it's gonna when it's gonna be <laughs> you get me at that stage but I am thankful that even though my um which honestly I'm not even really worried about this so I don't even know why it just popped up in my head but I did you do have to weigh yourself when you go to the doctor every time um and because i have to see two different doctors because we did ivf i have to weigh myself pretty much every other week and even though i've been eating a ton i've only gained five pounds thus far so that's really cool and that's a blessing to be um 20 weeks pregnant we get to go see baby tomorrow. I'm so excited. So excited. Because it's so funny. Like, I've been feeling the flutters in my stomach. But it's still to where Brandon can't really feel them on the outside. So, it's just cool with us going there. And he gets to see the baby moving around so much. And... It's just cool. I don't know. We're just enjoying every little process. You know, you only get one first everything. So we're just really just enjoying it all. Sorry for those who may. Well, I think everybody's pretty happy for us for the most part too. But hopefully we're not like, you know. I think just once you pray for something for so long and especially something like this. <clears throat> It's like all you can think about, all you can talk about, all you can thank God for, and yeah, you just want to shout it to the world a million times. Because there were many days where we were just really down and out about it, you know? So, yeah, God is just really doing his thing, and we're so grateful, we're so thankful. I've been doing the best I can to try to get everything together but it just feels like so much going on you know but i'm um, pretty much i think that i'm pretty much through with doing the um what's it called the registry so that's cool so i will be having that ready soon and i'm working on invitations as well which hindsight i think i should have just let my party planner do them but i was like girl i can do this this should be easy and now i'm like oh, what a drag <laughs> it's like any responsibility is just a lot right now but um i'm going in with the one size what is this even called i got this oh it's called ultra pink and it's a setting powder and even though it's super pink i don't know if you can see that it works really good on my skin tone so that's really cool i didn't use it for the longest because i was like uh that's gonna not work for me but it definitely works which is really good so that's my base day full still gonna do some blending but what else i'm just gonna set all this in the eye powder so see you think it's so pink and it's really not that pink it's crazy i feel like even though it takes a lot to like get up and get moving I feel like once I do and at least put like a little bit of makeup on and just kind of like pull my hair together and you know just kind of look decent I just feel like when you look decent you just feel decent you know so 
I think that's what's been kind of helping me out a lot during this pregnancy. Because I know some people are like, oh my gosh, you just seem like you have so much energy. And, well, of course, you guys probably don't because y'all get the real, okay? <laughs> but like on our other platforms, everybody's like, oh my gosh, you have all the energy. And da -da -da -da. But it's like, once you get yourself together, like put on a cute outfit, put something on your face, and pull your hair together. It just kind of makes you feel better. It gives you just like a little burst, you know? So, and I've always um, stood by that rule. So, just trying to keep it going. We're halfway there. So, um, so this is the makeup by Mario Bronzer in, I think it's just called, oh, it's in color deep. So I just kind of use this to kind of soften up any lines that are there. For my blush. This is the color Bold Heart, and this is by Essence. And I think this one's in Target too. That reminds me, y'all, Target's baby clothes have been so cute lately. Like, I have been definitely, oh, and I ordered some stuff from Gap the other day, and I'm really excited to see that come in. It was so stinking cute. Once that order gets here, I'm going to do Pom Pom's first load of laundry because we have like a little sample packet of um, uh, not body wash, uh, detergent. Just kind of trying to prepare, you know? It's like, I have a hard time really like depending on the registry, you know what I mean? It's like, I know people are gonna get things and I'm gonna be so grateful, but it's just like, I have a really hard time. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if, we don't get the things that we need. So it's like, I'm just trying to get like a few things that I know for sure that we'll need. That way, if it doesn't get, you know, gifted for the baby, then at least we'll have it. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch. I absolutely love that. I don't know if you can tell, but I literally did not have eyebrows like 10 seconds ago. That's the makeup for now. I feel like there's some, oh, okay, it's just the camera lighting. Okay, so that looks good for being in the house. I'm not really, you know. And then for my mascara, I've been loving the one size, um, fantasticized mascara. This was sent to me in PR and I'm definitely gonna purchase it again once it runs out because I really love it. Okay, so this is the finished look. And as you can see, it's really basic, really neutral. This is literally what I do every time, y'all, I swear. Oh, and I forgot my setting spray that I'm obsessed with, which is also the one size um, until dawn. This is the only setting spray that works for my oily skin. I literally could sleep with this on, wake up, and the makeup is still in place. Like, I don't know what's in it, but it's insane and i love the way that it sprays on because i hate anything that's super wet and like leaves wet drops on your face like i do not like that um so this one just sprays like a it's like a mist but it's even lighter than a mist i got gifted a birthing journal where basic oh hand it to me babe they're working each other and i'll tag the girl down below who makes them but I thought it was so sweet that she sent it to me. So thank you so much for that. But I thought it was such a good idea if there's like a section in the journal where it says like prayers for my baby. And I just figured we could start like writing pom pom little notes or like little scriptures or little whatever's on our minds. And yeah. then that way when the baby gets older, we can let the baby see it. Yeah, Pom Pom will be able to see that. Yeah, I think it's so cute. And know that, you know, we was going in on that journal. Yeah, so it's by Lily Dula Birth. And um, I'll tag her down below. Oh, Lillian Bodunrin. I think that's her last name. But thank you so much for sending that to us. I think this is the sweetest thing ever. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, this is something that's gonna come in real handy. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be just so fun to look back and just see like our thoughts yeah. or whatever, you know? Yeah, for sure. But um, we're getting ready to go to the movies. So I'm taking Destiny and Pom Pom to the movies. Yeah. Matter of fact, you ready to go to the movies, Pom Pom? <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> All right, we, we about to go see, what are we going to see, Dad? We're going to go see this movie called Imaginary. 
Okay, Dad. But I might fall asleep in the theater, Dad. It's been a long day, Dad. <laughs> You're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> you ain't gonna fall asleep, baby. You're not gonna fall asleep. Dude, this, this, is, this is literally how he talks to this baby. That's how I talk. I'm like, why does the baby have such a deep voice? I just don't understand. But yeah, we about to head to the movies and go yeah. see this movie called Imaginary. Yeah, it's called Imaginary and it's supposed to be like scary. Uh, we saw a preview of it when we were seeing another movie and we said we were gonna go see this. Yeah. And honestly, I forgot what it's about, but... It looked good in the previews. Right, so... So it's gonna be our little date night, night situation we still been keeping up with it because y'all know like ugh, first trimester we fell off of everything like we weren't going on date nights nothing because i was just like she's out of here. yeah but now we are back on our date nights and look date night doesn't have to be like heels yeah you ain't gotta dress look at look, look at yeah. what we got on. i don't know if y'all can see i got on shorts and this yeah this is like and a i light literally lady. have on pajama short pajama <laughs> and this is one of my yeah like <laughs> this is this is what it is and i'm about to probably put on my nike slides like this is yeah. it doesn't have to be a production you can go to date night just yeah. don't wear like a bonnet or pajamas on because that ain't yeah. the way we're not just but we're you could wear anything you want on date night we're just going to the movies you know yeah get some little quality time out the house get a breather grab a little bite to eat and so yeah we'll let you guys know how the movie was when we get back so we told y'all we were going to give y'all a review of the movie that we saw last night imaginary and it was good up until the end like i don't know why movies are like that now where it'd be good it's a nice little scary movie and then in the end it started getting like unrealistic like it almost started to be like comedy i'm like oh man they ruined it they ruined it with the ending but I mean, overall, it was okay. It was good up until it wasn't good no more. And so I'll just give it an okay. So, um, but if you want to check it out, if you're into like scary movies and stuff like that, go check it out. It's basically this teddy bear that was brought to life by this girl who had this imagination. And so it was like kind of scary. The teddy bear was doing all type of crazy stuff. But they just this just made me reinforce that we would not be getting pom-pom teddy bears because I don't know what these teddy bears gonna do and, and these dolls and all this and all that. I, I, don't, I don't get into all that. So yeah, we're gonna stay away from those. <laughs> but um, today we got uh, our doctor's appointment um, for Destiny. It's the 20 week appointment. So halfway there, y'all. It's crazy. Time is flying halfway there. 20 weeks, yo. And we're excited about that because um, we also get, I guess they're going to do like another anatomy 3D scan, but it's going to be like on a bigger scale than the last one was or something like that. So we got that appointment and then um, Destiny has a hair appointment to take down her hair and she's going to go back to the natural, which y'all, I love her in the natural. Like the, 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 the weave is cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to cap. It's cool. I love it. But also love the natural in her so she's getting her hair taken down she's gonna get like a little natural layer situation or something something she said she's gonna get and then um i'm gonna come we're gonna come back and i'm gonna well she's gonna go to her hair appointment and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna clean up the house um from the week and then let's see fold up the clothes and I'm trying to think other than that i don't think we have anything she has a couple birthday dinners that she's going to this weekend and so she has one tonight for one friend and then she has another one tomorrow night for her friend kayla that you guys know that you've seen in vlogs and videos but yeah so she's going to be doing that while i'm here alone again you know what i mean she gets to go out here and live like she's 25 years old and living her best life and i'm just at the crib <laughs> now i'm just playing but you know what's funny like i actually like be I, I think we've told y'all this before but i actually like being in the crib now you know what i mean i don't have to go out turn up every weekend like i used to or be out here doing stuff i just i like enjoying my crib and i like sitting on the couch and watching tv and that's just kind of my thing you know what i mean so um yeah that's what the weekend is looking like we're gonna go to church sunday for easter obviously um and let's see what else 
I don't think we have anything else. Um, I'm just, I'm just, it's, it's just amazing to me how time is like really flying. Like we're at the 20 week mark and I just can't believe it. Like it went, it just seemed like yesterday we were just finding out that we were pregnant and now fast forward, we're like halfway there. It's the most insane thing ever, how quickly it's went. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go to that appointment and see Pom Pom and just excited about it because every time we go to an appointment, I get to see Pom Pom. I just, it just really, really like makes me happy, man. It's like, wow, we're actually really doing this. God is really truly blessed and he's come through for us. And even through everything that we've gone through, he's just been faithful and been here to, to just really just see us through this. And so um, it's just, it's been very, 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 um, just happy to just see all this stuff come to fruition. Ready to tackle these. We making progress, y'all. We getting there. We getting there. All done. Except for that rag. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite orders ever. I, I just like it brings tears to my eyes kind of I mean a little dramatic but not really <laughs> I have been um, kind of torn with ordering bras because um, you know obviously my boobs have gotten way bigger than they were before uh, pre-pregnancy but I was just kind of torn on if I should buy like go ahead and buy nursing bras or just upsize and regular bras so I went ahead and bought some nursing bras and oh my gosh best purchase that I have made from Amazon my whole life I feel like I'm wearing a pillow on my chest like if bras normally felt this good I don't think they would be like so uncomfortable throughout the day like I literally feel like there's nothing on me but like just I don't know like, I can't even describe how amazing these feel so I wanted to show you this set of bras that I got from Amazon it comes in a three pack and um oh my gosh they're just amazing they're seamless they're good for breastfeeding um because it has the little um latch on it that you can just kind of pop down for baby we are gonna try to best to breastfeed um so yeah so you can just unclip this boob is exposed and then clip it when you're done but when i tell you this bra is the most comfortable bra i've ever put on my entire body it's just so amazing like the fabric the the design the padding it's just it just feels like a lifesaver like <laughs> my boobs have been so achy and sore like i'm just kind of upset with myself for not ordering this sooner i feel like i needed this a long time ago and i didn't i was really honestly i was trying to make it without it or or maybe not that maybe i was just trying to see if they would just like stop growing but what i did was i just went ahead and ordered um this is a size xl and they even go bigger than that so, um, but I'm like, I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to just get what feels comfortable now. And if I need to order some later, I'll just do that. Like I need to stop overthinking it and just do what I need to do then. So I still have some room to grow in this size. And it also comes with an adjustable, like you can add another strap to it that makes the band wider. And oh my gosh, y'all, I just wish you could just try this on. It's so comfortable and they're really pretty. Like. They're not super, you know, not too mommy-ish. Like, they're not terribly ugly. But I like the little scallop detail around the trim. Yeah, I just, I could go on and on about these bras because I feel like they saved my life, honestly. It feels so amazing. The next thing I got was this huge yoga ball. And it's a pretty lavender color. And I just really wanted it. Well, my best friend, she has three kids, and she basically told me that this was like uh really helpful when it comes to like stretching and exercising at home and stuff like that and obviously there's some in the gym but i don't make it to the gym every day so my goal is to um use this just for like 15 minutes just every day to stretch or 
do like a light workout at home just something super light and easy and then this makes it fun and um so yeah i ordered a ball um and i'm excited to use it i'm gonna use it actually here in a minute because i'm just gonna do like some stretching i have been having like some back pain and i feel like it's really gonna help because i was doing like some stretches the other day on the floor and i was like you know what i feel like it would just be way easier to get a ball and use it for that this might be a little out of order because i'm literally just unboxing everything now but um we're going on one we're going on two trips before we have the baby this one is not the baby moon but we're going to Curas curacao i think i saw one of you guys comment and said that we were pronouncing it wrong so i think it's curacao that's where we're going <laughs> um but we have we're traveling with a travel group and there's like these fun themed events that we um are going to participate in so brandon ordered these swim trunks because the theme is like pink and purple or purple or something like that so he ordered these these are super cute and then i have a purple swimsuit that i already ordered um and then another one i think it's green so he's got these these are super cute and I think I'm just gonna wear a black swimsuit to match him. We like to coordinate a lot when we go, especially on vacation, but also like date nights. And we wear a lot of neutrals mostly anyway, so we pretty much coordinate all the time without trying. But when we go in, um, on vacation, we definitely like to like coordinate our outfits and stuff because it just looks cute to me. He also ordered these sandals. He got them in black in this nude color i love this color and they're just like some foamy type they kind of remind you of like the yeezys um but they're just really cute they can get wet he doesn't have to worry about messing up his other nice sandals or anything like that so he ordered two pair of these like i said the other colors in black but i love this color especially i feel like i should have got this color for myself <laughs> these look comfortable super cute um so yeah He's got these uh and then there's another themed party i think the color is navy so he just got this nice little um button down shirt it's got it's navy and white and this is gonna be really cute he gets a lot of amazon's like um button downs like this especially for vacation because they're inexpensive and the quality is pretty okay to go on vacation in and actually well just for life period because they're super thin brandon sweats a lot so when he finds these really nice thin collared shirts, like he likes to stock up on them. So he added this to his little collection and it's super cute. And then back to swim trunks. <laughs> One of the parties is, I want to say, I can't think of the name they called it, but it's like iridescent, like an iridescent themed party. So we got silver swim trunks for him. And I'm gonna order a silver swimming suit to match him, but uh, I just thought these were so funny. <laughs> he was like, we're gonna look like we're in the freaking like um, disco ball days. But um, these are cute. So that's it for this haul. Um, we're just pretty much like getting ready for a vacation in the midst of that, still trying to get me squared away and comfortable because with the like the boobs in the back have been the constant pain well i won't say pain but just like discomfort you know so i'm really excited about this ball i'm about to put that to use right now oh and last thing we got which is something we've been needing forever i don't know why we ever travel without it because we always have to end up borrowing it from the hotel manager or something like that but we've been needing this for years honestly and we finally um bought one and I don't even know why we didn't. We just, <laughs> I don't know. You know when you need something on vacation, then you get home and you kind of like forget about it. I feel like this is just kind of one of those things that um, we just kept forgetting to buy. Um, but this is a adapter that basically converts, um, I think it's a European adapter, but it has all of the outlets that you'll need for when we go out there. So that's really exciting we've been needing one of these and it came in a two pack so i'll link everything down below um these were super affordable and i'm just glad we finally got one because now we don't have to depend on the hotel lobbies because a lot of the times theirs did not work and um yeah so i'm just glad we have our own now like i said they came in a back in a pack of two so we'll be good 
and we can charge multiple things like our laptop our phones um curling iron like whatever we'll need so definitely need this if you travel at all it's always just good to have i feel like no matter where you're going you just never know what the circumstance is going to be so i'm really really glad that we've got this so we just came back from the doctor's appointment for the midway checkup for pom pom and um the doctor did a sonogram and everything and I mean, everything looks good with pom pom um we got to saw we got to saw <laughs> yeah as y'all can see i'm so excited i'm saying we i can't even form my sentences correct but we basically got to see pom pom of course in a 3d scan and I mean, everything is just looking good man pom pom was in there just moving around and we got to see pom pom's face and little eyes and like it was yeah it was everything it was everything it was very very satisfying now the next step is i mean because we halfway there um we're gonna just keep going to the appointments i think our next one is in like four weeks and so they said then after that once it gets to like 30 some weeks then they start having weekly visits or some to that effect but everything's looking good everything's on track for pom-pom to 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 you know come into this earth and be good so yeah we excited so but um destiny went to go get her hair done I, I think i told you that earlier she's getting her hair done right now and i'm about to do some cleaning around the house and um that's about it um just gonna chill out after that oh no i'm going to the gym my bad i'm, I'm i gotta hit the gym y'all i've been consistent on the gym lately like i've been going like five days a week um just trying to maintain and stay right and build up a little bit of muscle just a little bit not too much i don't want to be out here all bulky or nothing like that just kind of lose a little body fat and just tone up and build up a little bit of muscle so i have been consistent like i would say for at least the last like two months maybe month and a half to two months i've been going at least five days a week so i'm getting ready to go out with um, my girlfriend today is her birthday i actually have a couple of birthday lineups this weekend because it's my other friend Kayla's birthday, um, but tonight it's Connie's. So we're going out to a steakhouse and then we're gonna go to like some kind of little place after, maybe like a little bar or something. So I'm wearing this little skirt that I got from Express and it's so cute, it's like twilly. If it's still in stock, I'm gonna link it on the bottom. Um, my cute little Fendi bag and then this blue shirt that um, my mom actually gifted me. I don't really know where it came from. And then just a little clear heel. But um, I feel like it's really cute and it looks like, you know, springy or whatever. And then I got my extensions out, thank God. Like it was really giving me a headache, honestly, at this point. And my hair grew even more, it's crazy. But um, I just flattened it, middle part. And um, so yeah, get ready to go out, but we're going to Chamberlain's Steakhouse and I'll show you what I get. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear honey. That's my friend. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. It's Easter Sunday. We're headed to church. And again, he has risen. <laughs> Brandon and I were making fun of like um Here you go, it is freshly frosted so you guys might want to Oh thank you. Yeah, you guys have a nice day. You too. Yeah. Against our better judgment we came to donut I mean Dunkin' Donuts, but No hold up, we gotta go back to before that. Oh, oh. so hey, let me tell the story because <laughs> so I was like so you guys know I'm an extrovert and Des is an introvert, right? And so I was like we were i was asking destiny like should we um should i text some people that we hadn't talked to in a while yeah we hung out about a month ago but you know just kind of i'm just one of those kind of guys where i like to check up on people make sure they're good and destiny like she's not really that individual but and that's not a, a bad thing against her it's just that she's just an introvert right so she was like no don't do it everybody's fine everybody's good i was like but that she was like you the type of person that you'll text on easter talking about good morning he has risen of <laughs> everybody today and i'm like okay what's wrong with that i'm just checking on my people that is so funny to me 
but he yeah, that's literally just, that person. Yeah. And I just know Pom Pom is gonna be just like him. I just know it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but y'all, bro, let me tell y'all, I don't know if it's because Dez is pregnant or what, but <laughs> it's like I've been having the craziest dreams. Dude, like, he has had every single one of my pregnancy symptoms. It is so crazy. Like that is the true, the most true thing ever. Like when I was sick, he was sick. When I had headaches, he had headaches. Well, his were cluster headaches, which is 10 times worse. But it's just weird that his ended. Granted, we got the medicine. But, you know, anyway, I'm just saying, like, all of his symptoms just came when mine came. And now he has the weird dreams at night. When I, when I tell you weird, like, my brain is so creative and, and it is so imaginary. Like, <laughs> the dreams are, like, real life stuff going on but it's like how did my brain even come like the dream i had last night she was getting her hair done on the water like there was a salon and they had like booths but they were on water and it, that sounds amazing by the way yeah and she got mad at me because basically i was playing like there was this little girl who had like a little kickball one of those balls and she was i was playing with her and she kicked the ball in the water <laughs> and Dez is getting her hair curled and so Dez goes to like kind of move the move the ball back to where we can you know pick it up and Dez falls in the water and messes up her <laughs> hair as it's getting done and she gets out the water and gets mad at me and I'm like I didn't tell you to move try to go move the ball like you was getting your hair done and it so this sounds so real it sounds so <laughs> real oh my god like first of all who has a booth on water like I don't know but we need a stylist to do it that would be amazing but that's, y'all, that's the type of stuff I'm dealing with in my dreams. Like, <laughs> weird stuff. Yeah, it's so weird. He's literally had every single one of my pregnancy symptoms. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's wild. It's, I'm just like, am I the one pregnant or what around <laughs> here? Like, what is going on, you know? And I was going to say, against my better judgment, because we were running out of time, we ended up coming to Duncan versus Starbucks versus um, Starbucks and um, but I'm not gonna lie what I got today is actually like really good I got a small iced cinnamon vanilla coffee with two pumps of churro syrup three pumps of chocolate syrup two pumps of, vani of vanilla <laughs> two pumps of cream they put all that in there I didn't know they put all this in here but it's like really good but it still has that coffee taste, which is good, even though it's like really sweet. They but it's still not overly sweet, if that makes sense. They did way too much. And their banana bread is really good because it has chocolate in it. So. They did way too much. It sounds like a lot, but it's actually really, it's actually really good. Nah. Like it doesn't taste like, like, you know, sometimes I go to Starbucks. Well, I haven't been in so long, but. Like when they, when you add sweeteners, sometimes you have to add a shot of espresso because it's so sweet. Yeah. But this little drink is fire. I'm like okay, okay. Hey y'all, I'm drinking my chai tea latte from uh, I use the Tazo tea. Tazo. Tazo. And I just I've been on chai tea lattes because like they're so good to me. Like they really are. Good. Where have these been all my life? You know what I mean? Like he makes those at home. They're so good, man. I just, um, I either want a tea or coffee, but like I have to be in the mood for tea. I'm more of a coffee girl. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm. For sure. But this bread, though, the banana bread is really good. I don't know if we told y'all, but we on the way to church. Yeah, we've officially, because we live so far, we've officially become those people that only go on holidays. But we still stream every Sunday. Yeah, we stream. We don't miss a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we stream every Sunday, and you know, stuff like days like Easter and stuff. We just go in. And, um, it's good to connect with people and stuff like that that we haven't seen in a while. So, yeah. And then I think we gotta go to. You said we gotta go to the mall after. I'm going to the mall after because my friend, her name is Connie. I went to her birthday this past weekend, and um. She got me a cute little charm to go on my charm bracelet, so I want to get that added on at James Avery. And then I bought a couple of sandals that 
are a little bit too small. So I need to up a size. So we need to go to North Park. And then um, I think that's it. Oh, and then I have a shirt that I need to get a size bigger in as well. Yeah. But, or it was a skirt. I don't remember. But whatever. And then my best friend wants to like, I don't know if they're going to cook or if we're going to go to eat somewhere. But they want to link up today. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> People be killing me how they actually say my best friend and just instead of just saying my, my friend this or that. They be like my best friend. Like, well, she has to be, um, what's it called? Separated from everybody else. Girl. I think I've just been calling her that for so long. It just is natural. Like, I can't say friend. It's, it sounds weird. Hey, y'all. There's a historic event next weekend. And for all my wrestling fans, y'all know what that is. It's WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania next weekend. And I'll be able to toast, you know, for all the wrestling fans, y'all know it's a two-day event. It's Saturday and Sunday. And so I'll be able to watch Saturday, but Sunday we have a wedding, which I'll probably watch, end up watching the Sunday, probably Monday. But make sure y'all tune in because rest, this is probably going to be the biggest WrestleMania ever, like straight up. So I just wanted to say that to all my wrestling fans. Y'all already know what it is. I mean, I, this, this goes without saying, but I'm just, you know, reinforcing just in case you're living under a rock or something. You know <laughs> oh, I mean? wow. Ha, ha, ha.